So we have our 8088 here on a breadboard. Got the processor here. Got our clock. Our 24 megahertz crystal, 8 megahertz clock. Hold, reset button. Some LEDs tied into the top address lines here. Got our address latches here, three of them. Got our data bus. Programmable interrupt controller. One megabyte of RAM between these two, and a 2K RAM that is used for the I.O. port. We've got our SPI chips here, which are connected to the Raspberry Pi. The SPI, these two are connected into the address and data bus to be able to read all of the memory and the I.O. ports. This is my control chip for sending control signals to the 8088, your hold, reset, I.O. read, and your memory read and writes. And then your interrupts are here. I'm only using two interrupts here right now. So the way this works is the Raspberry Pi holds the 8088, flashes the BIOS into memory, and uh, then the BIOS takes off, and as the uh, 88 is running, the Raspberry Pi will uh, hold the 8088 and read portions of the video memory. If I was to read all of it at once, it's uh, kind of a slow read, and it's, it would be noticeable. And so it displays that video memory on the Raspberry Pi screen. It also takes keystrokes from the Raspberry Pi and writes them to the I.O. port and triggers the interrupt for the keyboard. For the hard drive and floppy drive, the Raspberry Pi will hold periodically and read a control byte that will indicate what type of drive operation and which drive is trying to be uh, written to or read from. So right now I've got it able to boot DOS, um, and then on the uh, website there it'll actually show you the uh, minimum BIOS interrupts that I was I had to write in order for DOS to boot. So that's the project there in its current state. Hopefully we'll be able to keep developing it in the future. Thanks for watching.